power of failure. This has been one of the top stories all week in the New York Times. So many people are sharing it, and it really is resonating. So we brought in one of the chief advocates this morning, Rachel Simmons. She's back with us. She actually teaches a class at Smith College called Failing Well, and she's the author of the upcoming book, Enough As She Is. Please welcome Rachel back to the program. <laughs> sent me this article and it goes beyond being on the college campus I know there's a lot of a lot of stress there what is it about failure well I think part of it is that the college thing is an issue kids yeah. are really worried about getting in and it feels to them like if I don't do everything perfectly it's all or nothing I won't have a good life so there's a lot of fear with kids but I also think anybody on social media these days and we know kids younger and younger are on it mm -hmm. they're seeing this unlimited stream of perfect images of their friends lives so they think I can't be anything but perfect and flawless on top of that you have parents like me mm -hmm. who are under pressure to think that our kids have to be spared of failure if we're going to be good parents. So all of those things are working together to keep kids out of practice when it comes to failure. And I love it that your little one is running around here. My five-year-old is indeed <laughs> running around somewhere. Why do you think it's crucial for parents to talk to their children about failure? Because here's the thing. Nobody can succeed if they're afraid of failure. You mm. have to have that muscle. If you don't know how to learn with an unpredictable, how to learn to deal with an unpredictable situation, you're not going to have that muscle to cope with setbacks. Life is full of challenges, and the people who succeed can respond and can be resourceful and are not you know blown away by every time something doesn't go their way. What do you teach your class? I mean just failing well. I mean just the title yeah. of it. So, what do you say to them? Well uh, what I try to teach them first of all everybody screws up. So I tell right. them about my failures. There have been many and it's really important for kids to know that adults screw up too because if we don't tell them that they won't come to us mm -hmm. when they have a problem and they also won't know how to do it. I also tell them that failing is something you have to practice. You're not just going to wake up one day and know how to do it. Right and we have a mutual friend Julie Foudy and we she do. has been a part of leadership and she has a great book that is out as well and she talks about how we all have butterflies you know but just get them to fly in formation yes. and to realize that you're not alone in having this fear. I always tell my students that being nervous means that you care. That means you yeah. care. And also I say to them, and I think every parent should ask their child this question, hey, what's the worst that could happen? Mm. Because kids particularly, they're really good at catastrophizing. Oh, my life is over if this doesn't go my way. You tell them actually what's the worst that could happen and can you deal with that? And most of the time the kid says, I sure can. Give three tips to, to parents to help with their kids. All right, so first of all, failure is a skill. Skills are like muscles. You gotta flex them often. You don't go to the gym and lift 50 pounds the first time. You don't throw your kid into the deep end and have them experience an epic fail. They have to go bit by bit. So let them fail often in ways that are manageable. Mm -hmm. Secondly, monitor yourself in term, as a parent. How do you respond to your kid's failure? When our kids are learning to walk, I always say this, when your kid is learning to walk, they fall on their face. True. The first thing they do is they look at you. Mm -hmm. Every parent is nodding in this room <laughs> because they want to know, is this okay? And if you go, ah! they freak out but if what? you say it's cool you're good mm -hmm. they keep on going that doesn't stop that continues throughout their lives they're always going to look at you so monitor yourself and then finally another parent for you parent tip okay. handle the way you deal with failure well so if you lose your keys and walk around saying i'm an idiot that's going to teach your kid to do the same. Be kind to yourself when you make a mistake in front of your child. Yeah, because they are always watching, and this is a lesson to be to learn early because it really does carry on. A hundred percent. A hundred percent. I really appreciate that my parents. They they didn't want to catch me when I fell. They were wanted to be there to pick me up when I did. It's about taking risks. That's right, and doing it together, and not doing it for your child, but with your child. Where is your little one? Where is she? She's right over there. Oh, can we get a seat? See you there. I know. <laughs> well, thank you. Because, you know, Rachel, we often talk about success, and this is part of it. You want your little girl to be successful, and you have to learn about failure to be. And you know what I said to her? If no. I screw up, I'm going to be okay. We're going to deal with it. If I fail on Good Morning America, we're all going to move on. It's locked in. Right about that. Rachel, thanks so much. You got to get a book when it comes out in the article trending all week.